Good evening, if you are watching now. No, that doesn't work. Well, good evening from me to whoever it is now. Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are watching. I'm in a strange mood, good mood. My leg is getting better. I'm about 85% of the way there. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the link in the description to get a free card when you sign up. Blah de blah de blah. Um, go and follow me on Sarah. I think I've got 299 followers on Sarah, so that's quite cool. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter where you have lots of updates. Um, and a quick update on froobs. If you've ever had a froob before, have you ever frozen it? Let me know in the description below. Um, in the comments below, description below. Basically, I got this pack for 20p. And it was it was like going out a day in two days. And I thought, I'll freeze it. Because that's what I used to do, my mum used to do as a kid. They are elite. 20p. I got about 15, I don't know how many froobs are in there. How many does it say? How many is it? Nine. Does it say? I don't know how many froobs are in there. But 20p. And I froze them all down. It's like 1p a froob. Honestly, they're better frozen than they are normal. Enough waffling on with that. We have... Have we made any more purchases since the last episode? I don't think we did. Um, I've got an update on the Nations League. Oh, I think we have. We have a Jan Vorganevoreskis. And, yeah, another great pronunciation from my... Uh, for the foreign players... Off a cent, we got him for £28.44. Quite unbelievable, you shall say. Yes, it was. It's an absolute sniper. Unfortunately, he didn't actually perform too well. Uh, but he might have done enough. We are in the middle of the Thursday night fixtures. I have the Croatia versus Denmark game on the TV right now. And I will show you very shortly what's been going on. I mean, what a pickup this is. Um, like at the end of the day, 28.44 for a rare, and he'll basically play every nation's game week, and he's young and could move to another, to another team in the future, which would obviously explode his price. Let's see what his price is now. Again, I did it with the scouting method in my last episode, so go out and check my last episode. So three days ago, one sold for 34.13. There we have it. And at the moment, he has scored me 35 points. Again, he only scored 33 points. And, oh my, is that just, no, yeah, that's just with the captaincy. Again, uh, this new signing, he's going to be a go. What's his price now? There's only eight rare cards of them, and I have one of them. He has moved to the... Oh, okay. This could be a trading purchase. I'm tempted to go and buy up another one. I think he'll go up a hell of a lot more in price. He's gone to the Russian League, and his AA scores are unbelievable. And he's under 23, and there's only ever going to be eight of them because he's moved to Russian League. Again, fuck Russia! But if we can make money... Uh, by doing this, I suppose we can still fuck Russia. But um, yeah, we move on. But I emphasize, I think this is the perfect player to like trade up, basically. He played for Moldova and currently I have the ETH. For the sake of this um, episode, we are... Scov Olsen isn't playing in, in our brains here. We're just using the four actual members of the ETH grinders to see if we can hit the ETH like every single game week. If you don't know, we're doing pretty well. We have hit it four times now. Uh, two with the highest amount and two with the lowest amount. And again, if you didn't have a keeper, we've hit it three times. And one was with is that correct we hit it, yeah we hit it with the highest um we hit it without a keeper so it proves the method works the dashboard we head over to the dashboard we are at 5.86 percent uh profit with a goalkeeper not profit um r r r 
ROI, return of investment. We got some nice graphs. Big shout out to a bunch of nuns slash, I've forgotten his actual name. We'll call him a bunch of nuns. He's an absolute legend. He sorted this Excel spreadsheet because I'm awful at that out. We have put in 3,272 with that new purchase now. Uh, we've earned £173 in monetary terms and 0 0.122 in ETH. And we have made £18 on a profit on a sale of Vitinho due to a great comment. Again, leave your comments on your players that you think will rise in price and the members of the ETH grinders. We seem to hoard defenders at the moment, so I probably need to go and sell someone so we can make some profit. We are going to open last week's money. We hit 226. Really frustrating. I don't know why Ryerson didn't play. Fitz had a monster game. I hit 84. And has gone down in price. But again, I think it's because ETH has crashed. But he is now worth 440. And he is a bargain. That's a straight up bargain. Um, we got him, obviously got him for 200, which were due to our scouting prowess. Prowess? I don't even know what I'm saying today. Uh, due to our scouting, we got him on an absolute bargain. We will not be selling him because he helps us hit the ETH. So, how much ETH did we get? Because ETH is down at the moment. So, we're going to make a nice little tidy ETH amount. We got 0 0.0184. So again, we can add this into game week three. Okay, so we, did we hit that with a goalkeeper? Yeah, we wouldn't have hit it without, would we? Yeah, you know, oh, God, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe I didn't copy and paste the first 0, 0.0. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. <laughs> And I need to work out how much money, money that was. The money in my pound was 20... Oh, God, no, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's the same monetary terms here. But again, you can see how much he's dropped. We would get 0 0.0194. Well, we will be, unless all catastrophe fails. Um, here, oh, well, here we go. Why has he gone down? When he's got more, he's got 35.2 now, and he's somehow gone down from green to yellow. Andy Morris has, oh, uh, whoa, Luxembourg are beating Turkey. Oh, sugar, that's why he's conceded a goal. That hasn't gone on to him yet. They're playing each other, and I was hoping for a nil-nil, and now we're, <laughs> now we're one nil to Luxembourg. And obviously, he's already made an accurate pass, an accurate long ball, saved, and a save in the box. Again, it shows you the power of a keeper. Like, that's so important. We're just scraping in the ETH at the moment. And it's going to be unbelievable if we can hit it without, without Skov Olsen. So we need, I need Selic to have a big game, really. Because our other two lads haven't had a huge game. Again, Kamikov did what I wanted him to do. The new signing didn't do what I wanted him to do. But he was only 20-something quid. So we could actually probably flip him for a profit now. We need to put in the monetary terms here. Paste. So there we have it. What does that now take us to? Because uh, that would have been zero and zero. Which is a shame, but with uh, so we're up to 6.53, shows you how much it compounds. Again, if you don't know about compound interest, it's very important in your life. You will make a lot of money if you can compound it. So that's what we're doing. Uh, upcoming game week, we'll get on to before we waffle about a lot of other things behind the scenes after this. I will bin off what I've already done. Oh, I also trained all my players. I have trained them every single episode because it's so important to get that extra XP. Let's see where some of the XP is at right now. Again, we've got Zelik on 8.5. Still need to go on and sell that lad for my under 23s. Um, Krunich played for AC Milan. He's back now, which is good news. He, unfortunately, isn't in the Bosnia squad. Because of injury, he would have been otherwise. 
The best is, again, in my under-23, he's a quite an expensive player. He's not part of the series, but he is playing for Belgium tonight, which is great news. Um, and everyone else was slowly ticking up with the XP bonuses. This lad, what an animal. Uh, it's annoying Greece aren't playing tonight. That's because he would 100% have been in. Let's see what he's going for now. 218. I was debating selling him, but after his last performance against Ajax, he's still definitely 100% of the main star. And too good of a score and not for us to have him. We also picked him up, if you didn't know, for £118. After some real hustling. Which we will have a hustle episode on how I hustle on Discord and get players for cheap. Upcoming game week. So, again, we have the Nations League. I'm probably going to have to stand up due to my leg issues, which are getting better. Um, and we want to hit the ETH. We have ETH players. So, we have Andy Morris. We also have Chatsiakiakos. But we also have now a Vorogovskiv, a Hanshi Olsen, um, a Ryerson, a Selic, who is playing the Faroe Islands, I think, if that's the correct. I don't know what badge that is. And he also has 8.5%. But, but, Chatsiakiakos is, a minute, let's try this. Chats id Diakos. Oh, actually, he wasn't that far off. We call him Pantelis, that's what we'll call him. He has to go in. Again, let me know if any of these players aren't going to play, because this is big. We have our new Kamakov, who is important. Again, we don't have a forward at the moment, but, 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 this man played with Kamakov and had a nice all-round score. And that was against Latvia away. Moldova now has... Again, this isn't going to tell me the next game, is it? Moldova now has... Bear with me. Um, oh, God, Moldova football! Who cares about the country? It's just we all about football. Moldova football fixtures. Here we go. They are Liechtenstein. And how bad are Liechtenstein? Can we get to see the group and what's happening in this group? Not very easily, are we? Everything's such a hassle at the moment. Uh, Moldova beat them about two months ago there. And then Liechtenstein beat them there. And that's enough. That's enough for me. That says enough. And the lad played. And he is this man here. And we can pick him up for a ridiculous amount. I mean, he doesn't play any of the games. Like, this is solely for Nations League purposes. But I've already proved how hard it is to find a forward. That plays nationally. Oh, hello. We've got a recent purchase. He went for. Oh, it's a dodgy one. It's a dodgy one. Nothing got sent. Corruption. It's corruption. It's money laundering. We will obviously be sending money to the receiver. And we are going to buy him. Because this is perfect for my ETH grinder. I will be lumping him in. He probably, just for the sake of actually getting the money, I'll probably play Scott Olsen and just use the points that this lad would have scored. And we will be buying him for the sake of the episode. Again, I'll sh why do I buy so many defenders? It's because you can get them to pick up for their nations and they're really cheap. We need to find one from the ETH grinder who's going to play... And has an easy fixture, and it'll probably be Zeki Skellic. I will keep an eye on that game tonight. He is also not performing at the moment. He's lost some points, and he's our captain for tonight. So that's not great. We will probably make Chatsiakiakos our captain and leave it like that. Actually, I'll be entering my under-23 side. 
and I will need Scott Olson. So my All Star team will actually involve our new man, and we're going to buy him live and direct. Uh, like I've got to hope that these people are. If not, I won't be buying him live and direct. We have this lad, and he has Discord, and we are going to message him. So you're going to have to bear with me. Um, again, please let me know if all of you guys are, have got a rare side. If you can't, um, if you're struggling, if you're struggling for a keeper, I get lots of messages. I'm going to get back to them all after this. It was Kukwa, wasn't it? I will be getting back um, after this episode. Like I'll get back to all the comments and stuff. So I do reply to them all. Discord me, Twitter me, um, YouTube me. And I'll probably be doing a giveaway in the next few weeks. So again, make sure you follow me on Twitter here. What was I planning on doing here? Sorry. we need to. I'm going to throw in a low ball to wake him up. Yeah, we'll low in a 32. No, 31. Let's go with 31. And some low level way call of the mandems up. <clears throat> Get that in. He will also have 31 quid. It will also. Whoa! He's got Twitter as well. This is rare, isn't it? Let's add him on. A, let's make him my friend on Discord. And he won't be my friend when I've robbed him. Wait, what was his name? On Crep. Crep. So you've got to go in with a strong mindset, basically, in these deals. You want to go in really nicely. Say something like, hello, uh, good evening. I am interested in your, again, we haven't even got to pronounce this guy's name yet. Vitaly Damascan. So that's quite an easy name. Oh, we don't want that as a bit aggressive in capitals, isn't it? See, it's all these little things um, that really make the difference. Get it here. So just, just to the mind, that is rather scary. So we've got to go lowercase. And then we go, I can offer. It was 31... Does he not accept trades? Where has he taken? Can you take trades? What? What we matter is the trade button gone? Oh, here he is. Is that? No, oh, it's there. What the hell happened there? Okay, Thirty-one pounds, which equals that. So then we copy and paste that in there, and then we go bam, bam, bam. Um, and that's how I do my deals. You've just got to be really polite, um, roll with the times, and they'll come back with a counter offer, and then you decide in the middle. But again, for the sake of this lad, if we can pick him up for 35 quid, let's say, and I've got now a midweek international, when you're bored out your brains, an international week, if you like football, we can hustle and win with these rogue characters. And again, if they get a transfer to some really terrible Netherlands side, and he's now up every week, then we can make a lot of money. We will offer this lad £32, because he doesn't have... This. So we've got to wake him up as well. When were they all last put on? So he was only active definitely two hours ago. He was active 30 minutes ago. So I think... In this episode, we will get a response. Again, on this, how do I find these sorts of players? You go, you take, go on to Red Data on an international game week here. You take off your your players and you just look on everyone who's doing well. Um, then, obviously, I'm looking for a forward, and I know that basically all the games are Nations League. Again, Cody Gappo is a baller, isn't he? And so we have another lad here, and it, like I look at him and I go, he could be cheap, and he's not that cheap, but he also is cheap. Um, it's not that cheap, he is cheap, he's expensive, who knows? Depends how much money you've got. 
But he's gone and played. He came on. So, crikey, Burnley are buying up. Are they using Sarah data to look at these players? He, I mean, in the space of 46 minutes, he's doing rather well as well. What was his last price? Sale of 261. Again, for a forward who scores well, and if you think he's going to start for Burnley, probably a good shout. And is he under 23? He is under 23. So... There you go. But that's a bit of how you how you find these gems. And that's exactly how we found this gem in the name of Halil Derglufsliglu. Oh, no, no, no. Vitaly Damascan. Um, further forward, this lad, I know that he's not playing for an international team. This lad might. Yeah, no, he's not. Um, and we'll just keep an eye on it like this, really. We've got a Carlos Backer. Yeah, I don't know. This lad I'm interested in. I'm seriously interested in. He's playing for Luxembourg. Oh shit! No, I don't. I now I know what that means. It means I can't get a clean sheet for either of the players that are playing. Mm, that's not good. We need Selic to have a huge game. A huge game because, again, if without Dawson, um, we the see. Again, if I bought this man and did some scouting before, we would have. Again, alongside this lad, who I'm pretty keen on. This lad we outlined before. I never got the deal over the line. I was after him. I could still be after him, to be quite honest with you. He is probably the cheapest international one. And he also is starting to find some form or starting to find some game time at the team called Boas de Vista. And, I mean, they're doing well. They beat Sporting at home, which is pretty mad, and he started. So, again, someone to consider, but he is a lot more. But then he also plays, I mean, I can scrape 145. How much is it in ETH? 0.126. I don't have that yet, do I? Even if I took all the deals away. We could be after him instead. I am now following him, I think. So it will outline me if he has any, yeah. Are we following the other lad, this this mandem, because we need to. I mean, I cannot believe the price for this guy. I know he doesn't play like at all, but if for what the sake of what we're doing, it's unbelievable value. Um, anything else to outline on my journey? Probably just outline the market again. It's a bit flat. We've got international week. Uh, big news. They've just signed up Liverpool again, which is really good news. Um, on Twitter, so they're obviously managing to get licenses. I hope they get the whole of the Premier League, but who knows? Again, I can't even search for Surat, so who cares? Um, and that is, I think about it, we're going to be finding. So, my teams for next week, let's just finish off here. My teams for next week will be getting rid of him so he needs to go for Quinton Merlin say and then my under 23 side with Costa Pavlovich Mansky Skov Olsen and Gvardio because I know that they'll all start uh, and they've got easier games than these lots so. I don't know who I'll make captain I know Pavlovich well, I watched actually an international game he played for I think it was against Sweden, actually. He had an unbelievable game. So I'll probably go ahead and make him captain. We probably have a fairly good chance of hitting the top 80 there because not many people will have five players who are playing. But again, I've set my teams up to do this. That's for all my research. The under 23s I've bought and the all stars I've bought are all primed to play. Again, let's hope we can get this deal over the line. It doesn't look like I have any, any action, probably because I'm lowballing them and they're not interested. Uh, office. Oh, well, I was like, accepted them. My heart, Jesus, did you see me then? Got really excited. I'll keep you updated on Twitter if I catch one of them. It's like Pokemon, isn't it? And I will also keep an eye on this list of players to see if I can find any other bargain international bargains. Again, De Bruyne is on a mad one already. Uh, that lad's back on a mad one. 
again, I think you can like, I don't know if you can go international. It'd be great if you could just search international on here. Uh, instead of all leagues, because I've just we've just got a few random games in here that will just make it so much harder to search for players. Midfielders, anyone else? And I mean, Callum McGregor, but he's probably fairly expensive. You want like a Serbian player who hardly ever plays and can hit like a good score for his international team. Uh, maybe someone like that. I could be completely wrong. He's quite expensive, actually. Oh, Jesus, here he is expensive. Plays for Atlanta, he's a good player. Um, anyway, I think that's enough for this episode. Have a great weekend. I'll probably have another uh, episode out on Monday. And let's hope to hit the ETH. Let's just have a little live look at where we are. Again, not doing too well. Selic's doing absolutely nothing. Morris hasn't made any more saves. So I'll probably go and watch that game now. Cheer on the ETH grinders. Those two are locked in, so we're just relying on Selic, really. The keeper's going to keep her. And Skov Olsen, let's hope he can do bits, but also he hasn't touched the ball in the first 27 minutes. No, he's played two minutes. Wait, is this refreshed? Oh, I don't think it has. What? He's on 1.7 now. So... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's not good. Right, that's enough. Have a good one all. See you later.